Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So, I may have done something. I'm just messing with you guys. I still got my truck right here, but this is my brother's 2018 F-150. This is the blue jean color. It is the STX XL trim package. He's got some really, really nice 33 by 20 setups right here. These are the, um, the Nitto Ridge Grapplers. He's got fuel rims on them that just look so, so sharp. The Navy with some blue headlights with the STX package grill. Looks awesome, I love this color. Really reminds me of my 2006 F-150, the kind of navy dark blue coloring that we got going right here. But today, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be installing some bull rings, um, basically making these portions right here anchor tie down parts on uh, either side of the truck. So you can pick these up, I'll leave them linked below from eBay or from Amazon rather, you can get two of these for 30 bucks or you can get four of these for I believe it was 60 bucks. These things are as easy to install as you can imagine. You're essentially popping this guy off, putting this guy in, these little like U-clips right here that you see will fasten in with these two screws right here. I'll give you guys like a much more like in-depth look as I install them. But yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today but let's just take one more look at how nice this truck is. There's my truck, there's his truck. Oh, we're living the dream right now. All right, as I said, this portion pops off right here. So I'm gonna be using a flathead screwdriver. You can probably even use your car key if you want, but it's got two tabs on either side. It doesn't matter if you push forward or back. Um, you're just gonna be pushing to one side. You can see it kind of pops up in the middle right here. You'll just pull there, this guy pops off, and now we've exposed this area right here where this guy will drop into. Now you will notice that there is a long side and a short side on this thing. The long side we determine goes towards the back. So as you can see, it says bull ring on the bottom right here. So that is gonna be facing the back portion of the truck. You're going to remove these two screws right here. And then once you remove those, you'll be able to drop that in place right here. All right, so we've got our screws out right here. Now what you're going to do is this is a this is a perfect fit for this truck. So it, you might think that it might not fit, but it snaps into place perfectly. So what you got to do is you got to kind of put this in at an angle to fish in these U-bolts to make it fit inside this area. So I like to turn it on an angle, kind of get the first one in. And now we've got that part in right here. And now what you're going to do is you're going to get the back part and you're going to push that one down first. And then you can take your thumb or take your palm or whatever and snap the front end down. I did a poor job doing that right there. Let's try that again. There we go. So now that's in. Flush fitment, like I said, perfect fit all the way around. Now you've got some functionality for this part of your truck and it doesn't stick up all the time and look awkward or anything like that because these guys drop in it sits flush now all you have to do is hand tighten these screws back in and you're done so once you've got these things in here in order to screw these guys in you are going to need to pull up on this to bring like the threaded portion up for this guy to fit into so i've already got one started so i don't really need to be pulling up but you can just screw these guys into place right here and I will note too that you can actually leave these guys sticking up if you want to, but if you don't, you can just hit it down like that and let it stay flush. Or if you want them to stay up, you can pull it up into place. You'll hear a click just like that and they will stay up. So up to you guys. I like the flush look better. So we're gonna leave it down like that. This entire process should definitely not take more than a couple minutes. I'm gonna show you guys in real time. I'm gonna do this thing from start to finish and just show you guys that this is very simple very beginner friendly you could absolutely do this at home as you can see i'm only using essentially a phillips head screwdriver and a flathead see it just snaps into place you can drop it down if you want or you can let it pop back up as i said when you're tightening this thing down these screws down you do need to pull it back up in order to get the threads in 
but then once you get that done it's very very simple from there put the second guy in here the instructions on this guy do say to only hand tighten with this um, you know with whatever screwdriver whatever you're using I'll show you guys the functionality of it again so when you lift up you'll hear a click that was the click that is going to let this thing stay upright but if you don't want to ride around with these things up when you're not using it for the functionality aspect of it just give it a pop it'll sit back down flush the color goes with the bed liner um, that we already have back here it fits perfectly you don't really have any gaps or any like you know extrusions or anything not sitting flush it looks awesome very inexpensive very beginner friendly super easy to install and it gives you a lot of functionality for this part of the back of your truck all right guys so there you have it both of these took like a combined five minutes to install but like i've already said already the functionality aspect of it is great um, if you don't have the tie downs on the inside of the bed of your truck you can still get some good anchor tie downs for back here and don't worry if you don't want to ride around with these things popping up they lock into place down there very easily like i said 30 bucks for two of them or maybe 50 bucks for all four of them if you opt to get ones for up here um, I don't know if there's like a specific trim level that you need in order to get the holes up at the front. Um, I know for a fact that F-250s have this guy up here where you can install this anchor tie down portion. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions about this product, leave it down in the comments below. This product will be linked below as well. I'll be happy to answer any of your questions that you have. Let's take one more last look at the truck. We're actually gonna be installing as well on this bad boy one of those tailgate assists so where you can just open it up let it drop and then there will be like a hydraulic portion right here that will slowly lower the tailgate for you it's just an awesome awesome looking truck the stx appearance package is so sharp i love 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 the color blue jean on this truck paired with the silver fuel rims on it. A, the, a 20 by 33, in my opinion, is the best setup you can have looks wise for a truck like this. My truck is level, but it still has the stock 18 inch, um, 31, 32 inch tires on this. Ultimately, this is the goal for myself for my truck. Definitely want to get a 33 by 20 setup as well. But like I said already, if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.